Hey guys, welcome back. This time I skipped the color correcting part for underneath my eyes because I thought it was kind of boring to show that every single time. So I just got right in. I'm using the pretty fresh tinted moisturizer from ColourPop. Um, it doesn't give you too much coverage, but it does a pretty good job in evening my skin tone. And also I'll just let my concealer do the rest. And I'm sorry that I'm kind of late posting this week because I prepared something to talk about, um, but I didn't really like them. So that's why I didn't post it. And instead of that, I'm posting a makeup look. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and this one is in light beige. This one has a pink undertone to it. So I think it'll be really nice to cancel out some of the green or you know, green colors underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna use this one for concealer. And before I had the neutral one, same shade, but neutral. But I feel like that one didn't really cancel most of my dark circles. So that's why I got one with the pink undertone. Yeah, this time I just kind of want to keep it light. It may not be light to you, but it's kind of light for me. I feel like the Real Technique sponges, I've been using them for a while because I just think beauty blenders are just way too much. Um, just cost way too much. So I've been using the Real Technique one ever since. And is it just me or is it that it's getting harder and harder each time? Like the material, it's not as soft as before anymore. I'm using the ColourPop Loose Powder and this one is in translucent. And so far, it's actually pretty good. The powder is pretty fine. So I really like it. And it really stays on a long time too. I have this crease problem and this one actually helps a lot. This powder really helps a lot. I actually don't wanna bake that long underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna wipe that off. The tip is actually really fine for this. So if you really want some details, detailed, detailed brow hair work, I think this one is a pretty good one to go. It does look kind of dark right now, but I'm gonna blend it out later and it's gonna look okay. Okay, looks like chicken scratch, but let me blend it out. Okay, we're just gonna leave the powder on the nose. I know it looks really weird, but we're gonna keep it like that. Um, for the eyes, I'm using the ColourPop It's All Good palette. So it looks like this. It's definitely a really pretty palette, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all the colors in there. Maybe I'll try to, but yeah. I normally go for the brown, warm, bronzy looks, but it's kind of boring, you know? So I'm just gonna use these ones right here. I'm gonna start with the color Good Vibes and it is kind of a dusty pink color and I'm gonna use that as like a transition shade, I guess. So I really did just concentrate it on my crease right here. For blending it, I'm using a smaller brush right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and Now I'm gonna use a flat brush. And now I'm gonna use a flat brush and dip into the color you got it right here. Really packed it onto my brush. Then now we're gonna use another of these blending brushes and we're gonna blend the orange into the pink. a little bit too much orange going on. I'm gonna use a bigger blending brush and blend out the edges of the pink. 
Still trying to not go too high. For the bottom lash line, I'm gonna use the orange as well. I just gently put it in the outer corner because I don't wanna flick it into my eyeball. Into the outer corners of that orange. Adding some of the orange back. Maybe I should do the inner corners first, like I always do, just to open up my eyes. It kind of looks crappy right here, and it looks like a blob. It's because I actually have a couple of folds right here, so right now it looks like a blob, but when I open my eyes, it's fine. So it's the folds that's actually making it look weird but after the wing liner when i finish it won't look as obvious it's still gonna be there but just not as obvious okay so i just put some lashes on these are the house of lashes featherette I used to like them a lot, but I used to like them a lot, but I'm not sure anymore. And I totally forgot, I'm actually not done with the eyes. I'm gonna put on a glitter. Um, there's actually so many amazing shimmery shades in this palette, and I'm gonna use this one right here, and this is like a glittery one. Right here. I'm gonna put a little bit on the side. I have a round face. I'm also gonna kind of bronze up the sides as well. Really round face. I'm literally trying to cut this part off. Is that enough? Yeah, I'm also gonna contour too my nose only. I don't really like to contour my face. Even though it's round, it's just that I don't really like that look on me. That was a close one. Almost ruined my eye makeup. Now I like to start from here. Just to give my eyes a little bit more depth. I know it looks super intense now, but I'm gonna blend that out. And I'm gonna make my lips. And then I'm going to use a smaller powder brush to blend that out. Blush, I'm going to use a Milani brush. This is the O2. There's a tiny brush in here, but I don't really like it. So I'm just going to use my own brush. Gosh, this one has a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm just going to blend a little bit. I'm gonna use a medium highlighting shade from the Kat Von D palette. It's called Lyric. I know nobody uses this palette anymore, but I mean, I'm not done using it yet. And it's still quite a bit of product in there. I don't wanna just throw it away and buy a new one and, and use something else. And so far it's been, you know, pretty good. So I'm not throwing that out. Put some here. And I have the bridges on my nose. The contour of my nose crooked. I don't know. But actually these lashes are not bad. Now that I've finished the whole look, these lashes are not too bad. Now the look is done. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you guys like the look. I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you guys soon.